Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final two episodes of season one of Dr. Stones. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 in three, two, one, go. That's good, though. Oh? Yeah, please. We don't need your eyes. Like, mm To you, like, oof. I'm your dick. Okay, thank God, that's better. Jesus Christ. And, and we're going to finish it before this season's over, correct? Please. Uh. How do you even know that's a good idea? You can say that.
them. Mm-hmm. No, you. Mm hmm. This would be like your ultimate test. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's fine. Does that really matter? I think the only time that really matters is, like, pst, dating. <laughs> but <laughs> we all look at fucking Hollywood. Next thing you know, someone's, like, 20-something and they're dating someone who's, like, 45. I'm like, you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, come on, need your help. That was a little too much. <laughs> I feel like, damn, this, this isn't Animal Crossing. You want me to do X, Y, and Z? No. True. Mm, there's not really enough sunlight.
what the a <laughs> Well, yeah, but not God, I wish you would just stay in your stupid fucking headphones. I just want one little fucking part up my ass. And you just don't do that shit. I mean, I think so. The high five? All she wanted it was. <laughs> oh, it was so cute though. That's okay. You'll find out what it is very soon.
Nonsense, you have time. Are we serious? <laughs> You need more than two people helping. Um, okay, never mind, okay.
the fuck? Oh my god. Now, you just have to test it out. Okay. I'm just proud of everybody. Like, oh my god, the work that everyone did working fucking together. You got the phone done. Oh my god. No. Like, seriously. But, bro, what the fuck is about to happen next? Like, <laughs> oh, I mean, I was taken aback to hearing the song from the first half. I, I mean, because, like, I'm thinking, I'm like, it's not even the last episode yet. Like, you would honestly really save that for the final, final episode. So. Okay. <laughs> but I really do love the fact that, like, Senku literally had Chrome to just take his own lead and do it on his own. Because, yeah, it's literally, like, his final test. Like, you can't always rely on Senku. It, it reminds me of how I was in high school where, like, because of military-ish and the school system and stuff and how I knew a lot of things before ma majority of the kids here and such knew, and everybody always was depending on me on ish. And I was like, okay, look, here's the thing. I was like, I like y'all. Y'all cool in my book, but I can't always rely on you. You can't always rely on me. Like, I can hold your hand, but I can't hold your hand throughout you the four years of fucking high school. You gotta do that shit just as on your own, just as much as me. So, eventually, your girl slowly but surely pushed him off. Like, mm, you by yourself. You gotta do this on your own. And I said, yeah, come to me when you really, really need fucking help. But then I also hated it when people came up to me and they just wanted to cheat off me. Bitches. <laughs> but no! We made a phone! Oh my god! Like, I, I thought we would never see the day, but hey. A phone is made. The glorious thing of technology is made. Like, the one thing that we all literally take advantage of. But really, honestly, we take advantage of everything. Mm hmm that's why I'm praying to God nothing like this happens in real life because <laughs> I don't know what would happen to me. I I would not survive. So, yeah, just to, okay, no, let me say it like this. So, imagine, like, because we are technically almost into that season. So, imagine Hurricane Tornado sees me because, you know, it's been <sighs> rainy on and off, kind of. Um, but we haven't had it where it's, like, extremely bad. But, like, you know when your power goes out because of it? Or, like, thinking of a snowstorm, like, a really bad one. Um, and you're without power for, like, X amount of days and such. And then you have no chargers and stuff. Like, thank God, you know, we have... I was about to say generations. <laughs> Generators. <laughs> to help. But imagine if we did not have all of that shit. We'd be so fucking screwed. Oh my god. <laughs> Technology is great. <laughs> like, holy shit. Because I, I literally... I couldn't do it. I'd be one of them people the first day. I'd be like, how the fuck am I surviving this? Like... My, no, well, no, because see... Well, really? No. What's the one, like... What? No, 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 no. I actually, no. I'm going to take that back. I think I could survive it. You know why? I literally, when I was in high school, this was like my my freshman year. And, you know, at this time I had like a prepaid cell phone before I went to from, so I went from Virgin Mobile to Sprint and then eventually years later gone to fucking T-Mobile and shit. But, um, 
I was talking to one of my guy friends, and mind you, I was talking to this guy, like, a long, 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 long fucking time, um, and stuff, and you know how, like, with certain phones and everything that are prepaid, you only get, like, X amount of minutes and such, well, um, (laughs) it went like this, we were talking and talking and talking, and then next thing you know, I get this thing of, you exceeded X amount of minutes. Mind you, my parents had already paid for my minutes for the month and stuff. The next thing you know, I I, I like literally had a fucking panic attack. You know, mind you, this is like a mm, mm, yeah, fifteen, fourteen year old DJ. Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, fourteen, fifteen year old DJ was like obsessed with this guy. Like, not not obsessive in like a creepy, weird way. Just you know, your girl had a crush on him. Um. And such, but and I really wanted to talk to him because we were we we liked some some things. We were like in our deep like our hobbies and just like that. Like he didn't like anime and stuff. I I was very like hush hush quiet about my love for anime because of the fact is like you know my friends in Nebraska love the shit, but people here in Florida it depends. <laughs> Majority of the kids here in Florida, <laughs> unless you really was like reading any type of manga and you're like, oh shit, like, hey, you watch this. But just like anywhere else, you always have that one guy who always wants to test you on, oh, well, if you know this, like, tell me this. And I'm just like, I want to beat the shit out of you. But no. And, and the next thing you know, I had to have my uncle literally buy me fucking T-Mobile shit. I mean, no, Virgin Mobile shit just so that I can talk to this guy. So that was a funny thing to explain to my uncle. So yeah, I could survive. I survived an X amount of hours without talking to him. So I could. I I think I could. I definitely could last without technology for a good couple hours. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. I sound it's going to become fucking annoying because I'm literally deleting a whole bunch of stuff off of my computer. They made a phone! <laughs> a phone. Not a modern day phone, though, but, you know, hey, it's something better than nothing. called maybe tomorrow my church comes home
<laughs> you didn't think about that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not what I thought he was going to say. But yay. It fucking worked. Oh. 
Shut the fuck up. Even from the beyond the grave, this man is so fucking amazing. Oh. The shit that those six did. Oh my fucking god. So, now how are you going to be able to play it, though? There's no way you're going to make, like, a record player in, like, an episode, right? <laughs> fine.
<laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god! It is. <laughs> Not the switch. <laughs> Like the statue. Th this is the reason why he made the fucking boat. <laughs>
white haired character. All right. I can't fall in love with anybody else. Okay. 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 I'm already in love with this one right here. Don't let no. And then this one right here too. No. Okay, final thoughts on this first damn season. This was a fucking 10 out of 10. This was kind of everything that I needed in a nutshell, especially with the way it started. And because, I, I mean, let's go back to the way when this shit was airing and how I, was, I looked at it. I only maybe saw a clip of the first episode and I was like, yeah, it's not for me. I don't really know. Like, mm. I love me my shonen, and mm, I don't know, because, yeah, I like me some science, but sometimes I don't really like me some science. It just depends on my mood. But, no, this was really freaking good. I mean, damn, like, I learned new things today well, throughout this whole fucking 24-episode series for his first season and such. I, I mean, damn. Honestly, that ass. But no, this was a really interesting series. It, it does make me wonder with the 11 episodes that we have left for season two, what all is going to go down. Like, okay, so let, let's talk about, like, the back mono. Like, that's going to come back up. My Here's my biggest thing that I'm kind of wondering. We know that we can, they've all been crystallized before and that can, um, you know, wake them up but my biggest weird thing and, and who knows and if i'm right about this so don't really if i am answer it but answer it in a way where it's like oh you'll find out later on between season two and season three is there a way to like reverse the system so if it's waking up someone can you take something take that same thing i mean like freaking bat piss and Make it so that they're cocoon uh, cocoon eyes. C c cocoon eyes? Is that a word? Yeah? Well, regardless, you know, turn into stone. Let's just say that, yes. And they're immobile. Is that a possibility that they can do that? I mean, like, because see, regardless, Senko is smart. We know that. Senko is a smart ass motherfucker. So, he can do anything that his mind, you know, the sky is the limit for this dude right here. I mean, seriously, like, he, he's like the Yami Yuki of, of this show. Damn, so that means the cost is okay, but... <laughs> and, and see, that's bad, because, like, I also had a crush on Seto Kaiba. Oh, <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. But no, that's really true though. Um but yeah, no, there like there has to be a possibility to like reverse the system that ass. Like to to, you know, turn someone into stone, immobilize them and such, so that they can't possibly wake them up. But like cause the okay, we, we know like it's because it's the biggest threat. He he is. Uh, he's the biggest fucking threat in this show until we got something else. Yes! Um. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I really love the fact is that the second half of this really was a focus on the village. Literally, because, like, I had a lot of, like, wondering, okay, because I didn't think about it up until we got the two fucking episodes on Senku's dad and, and it and then I, I was like after I was done and I went back and rewatched it I was like okay now I can see why like almost everybody looks like a fucking descendant of them because it, it's that terrible it, it's nuts because when I first saw it I was, I kept, I was sitting here I was like why does everybody like dead ass look the same 
and such. But you know, that's something that you 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 question and then you don't think about it up until it's time to think about it again and such. So I hope we do get something um else like that, in my opinion. But however season two and season three are going to go, I, I mean it's gonna be a wild ride. Like honestly, for twenty four episodes, this was a damn good series and such. It answered everything and proved that Damn well, this is good as fuck. And honestly, I wish I should have watched it when it was airing at the time. But once again, you just never know what the heck is going to, like, interest me. I mean, that's the same thing with, like, um, well, I can't really say Clash from Really Elite. I, I can technically say that because that is one series that a lot of people really, 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 really want me to watch. And the funny thing was, I was on TikTok, TikTok um, it's Monday still for me. So <laughs> when you guys see this on Friday, so on Sunday, um, I was just scrolling and I saw this random ass clip of the main character and this blonde haired girl. And he was like talking about using her as a pawn. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, the context, like not knowing what the fuck is going on is confusing. But um, it just made me very curious to see what the hell is going on in that show. But probably when we're done with this, that is officially when I will finally, because I know the day when that video comes out, y'all are gonna be like, oh my fucking God, yeah! <laughs> No, like seriously, I, I can imagine the first fucking comments were like, oh my god, fucking finally, she's doing the one thing I've been wanting her to do for like the longest time and such. I mean, Jesus Christ, like no, I think the last time, besides this show, I cannot remember the last time that I was like, well no, but technically that was gushing over Magical Girls because everybody was like, oh, okay, you're doing that, like, oh, oh, like, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, no, this was a really good first season and dead ass ready for season two and season three. But oh, I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm going to go lay down. But other than that, guys, that is my activity towards the entirety of season one of Dr. Stone. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all before following Friday after this um for the start of episodes one and two of season two so m my thing is the goal is I'm probably gonna try to watch um episode one and two tomorrow I still have to watch the laid back camp movie so that'll probably come out this week too um probably by the time you guys see this the movie should already be out and then plus I am actually starting another show no, like I said, it's not Clash from the Elite. It's something that's currently airing this season and such. And um, a couple of my, like, husbandos are in the show and such. And yeah! Let's just say it's very similar to Tokyo Revengers, even though I would probably never watch that show because everybody said it was, like, it wasn't hot, hot garbage, but it was, it was enjoyable. They just didn't like it because, you know, Disney jail. Yeah. Yeah. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.